Hello everyone. Happy Monday night. My clock is chirping. I can hear it. We're good to go. Happy Monday night. Eight o'clock live crafting with Count Your Stitches. I am Bethany. How are you? I'm just gonna get everything good to go. Make sure that you say hello when you're hopping on. Um, if you're watching this on the replay, thanks so much for stopping by. Hashtag replay below, say hi. Make sure you sprinkle this out if you're loving it. Drop some hearts, drop some thumbs up. Hello, mom, hello, Mary. See people starting to come on, very excited. So let's get going, because what we're doing might take a little bit. So we're gonna get going soon. All right, let's get this open so I can see everybody saying hi, 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 hi. Oh, my hair looks funky on the side. I got my, my bobby pins in there. All oh, interesting. All right, here we go. Hi, everyone. Hey again, Bethany, count your stitches. How y'all doing? Um, tonight, we are going to be making a clothespin pumpkin. All right, so we're going to be using um, one of these small, I don't even see, can you see this? This is like, this is weird. Here we go. One of these small wreath, wreath frames, this here. This is I just put the plate behind it so you can see it better. Hi, Julia. Um, so we're going to be using one of these small wreath frames. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Wreath frames from um, Dollar Tree. They come like two in a pack. This one I got from a yard sale but for like 50 cents. But So it's the same price, right? I'm <laughs> going to use one of, one of these. And then we're going to be using 24 clothespins, Okay. Um, I have them on a jumbo popsicle stick to make them easier to paint. Um, so I have 12 on here now. We're going to use 24 total. That's going to go all the way around this. We're going to make a pumpkin out of this and some clothespins. And we're actually going to use the jumbo popsicle stick later. We're going to use it to help us paint. And then we're going to cut it up and use it to help us make a stem. Um, and then we're just going to decorate it. I've got some greenery. I've got lots of ribbon. We're going to make a pretty bow. And it's going to be beautiful. All right. So I want to get going because I am afraid that take, painting the clothespins might take a little bit. So let's get going. Um, I'm just using acrylic paint, jack-o'-lantern, apple barrel, get it from Walmart. Um, and a fun fact for everybody, I know they sell clothespins at the Dollar Tree, but it's actually a better value to buy them at Walmart, okay? You get more for less, just so everybody's aware. All right, so just a fun fact for everyone. So how is everybody doing? What's going on? How was your weekend? Um, it finally, we. so literally guys, I just hooked them all onto here so it's easier to paint them and I'm just gonna go to town painting all of it orange, okay? All 24 of these pins are gonna get, clothes pins are gonna get painted orange. We're gonna try to do this relatively quickly. I'm gonna do um, Another great tip with clothespins is to do is to spray paint them. Um, so just you know, if anybody ever wants to keep that in mind, um, I may do some dry brushing on these, so I may not worry too much about um, perfection. We'll have to see. But anywho, so I'm just gonna paint this. I'll do the I'll paint the fronts, then the backs. All right. So what's going on, everybody? How did you? How was your weekend? We finally had some relief from the horrible weather so if you're local um i don't know what the weather was like in other parts i think it might be similar but we had i don't know like our fourth or fifth heat wave of the year something of the summer i'm sorry something ridiculous um it has been total scorch outside luckily um it's we have air conditioners here so bob working from home is okay I have air conditioning at work, so, because my old places did not have air conditioning, so um, that's that's a nice part. Um, you know, so we've been dealing with the heat wave okay, but I just, I can't believe it was over 90. Hi, Bob! It was um, over 90 and felt like over 100. Now, if I'm talking to my friends from, like, the Midwest and the South, I know I'm complaining about nothing for you guys. <laughs> Um, I know y'all see a lot harder than hotter than that. Um, but it was a lot for us. We don't normally have heat waves like that. So it was a lot for us, but yesterday was gorgeous eighties. Um, and I wanted to tell y'all about what we did. Um, hi, Kristen. How are you? How's everybody doing? 
We are making um, a pumpkin out of a Dollar Tree tiny wreath frame. And um, I'm painting some clothespins orange. So you're just gonna watch me paint clothespins orange for a little while here. Although we're moving through. We're already, we're already almost halfway through our first batch here. So we're, we're getting there. We'll make it through okay. I think we're gonna be okay. Like I said, I might do some dry brushing once they're all on the um, the um, the frame itself. I think I might do some maybe some dry brushing of brown just to add a little bit of dimension to them. Um, we shall see. But so wanted to tell you how we spent some of our weekend yesterday. Um, so if you're local, you'll understand some of the things I'm talking about. But yesterday we went to the Washington County Fair. Um, well, you know, I, I, sorry, real quick. I see lots more friends hopping on. Hey everybody. Uh, my name is Bethany from count your stitches. If you're just hopping on, we are creating a, um, a pumpkin out of clothespins and a re a mini, you can't really, it's hard to see this in a mini, there we go. Mini wreath form from the dollar tree. So I'm just painting all of our clothespins orange. Um, this is actually called jack-o'-lantern, this color, which I think is really cool. Um, and I'm going to dry brush some, probably some brown on it once I put them all onto the frame itself. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited to see how this turns out. I have made bigger versions of clothespin wreaths. So my mom has one in her bathroom that I made last summer. Um, it is um, a 12 inch or a four, I think it's a 14 inch wreath frame. And I covered it in clothespins. Now, mind you, that was, gosh, it's upwards of like 70 clothespins. So just think about how long that took me to paint. Um, that would have been a moment that I would have loved to have thought about the whole uh, spray paint thing. Yeah, that would have been, that would have been the moment. Um, and then I put like um, this big wood, oh, excuse me, this big wood cutout that said ocean on it because mom has an ocean theme. Um, so we did that one. I have another one in my shop that I've made that is a sunflower. So the clothespins are yellow and black. Um, that one's really pretty too. So I like doing these clothespin wreaths. They're, they're a little bit, you know, wreaths are nice. Um, I'm not, they're not like my specialty, um, especially ones with like the lots of ribbon and all of that. It's just not my, I'm not very, very good at it. So, um, or although I guess I really don't do it often. So I guess I don't know if I'm actually good at it or not. Um, so, but I like the clothespins ones because it's just something different. Looks cool. So that's what we're doing. And I was like, I have this tiny wreath frame, so I might as well check that out. You know what I'm saying? So thanks for hopping on, everybody. Oh, Chris, you went to the, the uh, zoo with Ryder, Roger Williams? Is that what I called, right? Roger Wheeler is a beach, Roger Williams is a zoo, yeah. Um, how was that? I went to the zoo not that long ago. Um, it was quite fun. Quite fun. Did Ryder have a good time? Was it his, I assume it was his first time at the zoo. Um, the zoo is always a good time. And it was beautiful weather for it on Sunday. That's for sure. Oh, I'm glad to hear that, Kristen. That is awesome. That is awesome. Um, yeah, we went to the zoo. I hadn't gone to the zoo. I think I told you guys this. I hadn't gone to the zoo in years. Um, and then I ended up going to the zoo twice in like a month. <laughs> Isn't that funny how, the, like, in the past, you know, over the summer or in the May and June. Um, so what we did yesterday was we went to the Washington County Fair. Um, I have a I have a pass second time. Oh, very cool, Kristen. That's pretty neat. Um, so we went to the Washington County Fair, which was very fun. We love fairs. So I grew up going to New Hampshire. Um every year and we went to the Freiburg fairs and the sandwich fairs. Um, so we are big fair people. We love the tractor pulls and the oxen pulls and Bob thinks we're nuts and it's totally fine. <laughs> Just drop some comments if you know what I'm talking about when I say tractor pulls and oxen pulls. Cause, or if you don't know, let me know if you don't know what that means cause I can totally explain it. Or I will explain it. Just drop some comments if you love them, right? The little tractor emoji or something. So we love, so the tractor pull, basically they put, they have this like, you know, flat sled, this flat piece of whatever, so, I don't know, 
that you can load things onto. And there's a huge chain on the end. And if it's the oxen pull, they attach that chain to like the yoke of the oxen that holds them together. And then, you know, you see, they, then they pile cement blocks on and they see how many that the oxen can pull. Um, and then if it's the tractor pull, it's just tractors that try to pull the, the weight. And there's totally a skill to it. Like, you know, you have to know how to shift and, um, you know, the opportune gear for it to be in and everything. Cause it's not like the track, cause they use mostly, um, antique tractors. So it's not like, you know, it's not like we're driving an automatic here. You know what I'm saying? Um, so it, so anyway, so we grew up, I, so moral of the story. I grew up watching all that kind of stuff at the fairs in Freiburg, Maine and in Sam, is that in Sandwich, New Hampshire, mom? I think it was actually in Sandwich, New Hampshire. Um, so grew up with that, loved it. So the Washington County Fair has that for us and we don't have to drive all the way to Maine. So that's always, always a preference. Um, so we went down there and they had antique tractor pulls, which I was thrilled. So we, mom and Bob and I went, dad went deep sea fishing. He would, he did a little sibling day with his sisters and they all went deep sea fishing, which is super cute. Um, they caught, they did catch fish that they were able to bring home. Um, so mom and Bob and I went to the Washington County Fair and we saw antique tractor pulls and it was Bob's first time seeing antique tractor pulls. Thanks mom. Um, and he was like, what is wrong with you people? <laughs> um, I don't think he grew up watching antique tractor pulls, uh, <laughs> but we had a blast. We saw, um, we saw, a, uh, like an up and coming country artist sing. We ate tons of fair food. Drop some comments. Tell me what some of your favorite fair foods are. If you go to fairs. All right. I'll tell you what some of mine are. So we had... Well, so I had some foods at the fair that were not what I normally get at the fair, but I was intrigued. So they, one place, well, so, oh, Doughboys, yes, yes, Kristen. Um, who else loves Doughboys? What else do we love at the fair? Um, so side note, I feel like every fire department down in that area of the state had a booth with food. Um, and I don't know if y'all know, but firefighters always cook amazingly fried dough yes um julia remind me are you local i'm sorry that i can't remember um and the only reason i ask is because you called it fried dough um and in rhode island we call it a dough boy which is just i so i wasn't sure if people knew um what a dough boy was <laughs> so i thought i'd explain um so in rhode island in road in roadie we call fried dough dough boys don't ask me why. Oh, yes, that's right, Julia. Don't ask me why we call them doughboys. Not a darn clue, but we do nonetheless. Technically speaking, guys, you don't have to paint the backs of these or they don't have to be painted as well. Um, just wanted to make that a side note because I still have another set of these to do. But we're getting through them. We're getting through them. It's not taking too, too long. Um... What other fair foods do we love? So yeah, so firefighters are amazing cooks. All the fire companies had um, booths at this, so we knew the food would be good. Um, so I grabbed a steak and cheese and a baked potato, and they weren't that big, which is a good thing because you want to be able to like fill up on other things at the fair. Uh, <laughs> um, so I had, actually all three of us had a steak and cheese, and I had a baked potato. Bob had... An autocrat coffee. Now, those of you who don't know, autocrat coffee is coffee. Um, I'm, I'm sure you've seen it at the supermarket, but it's native to, well, not native, but it's made in Rhode Island. Um, and they make, you have the autocrat coffee milk syrup, which I know people don't know what that is either. Coffee milk. It's a coffee syrup, like chocolate syrup, but you put it in. It doesn't taste like coffee. So, like, I know that's confusing. Um, <laughs> no, that doesn't sound right. But... Anywho, so they had autocrat coffee, um, like milkshakey things. So Bob had one of those. I had a baked potato, a loaded baked potato with the steak and cheese. Mom had the steak and cheese. Um, and then we got a dough boy that we split between all of us. Um, and 
We got ice cream. <laughs> we were we, we did well. Um, oh yes, Kristen, Dell's lemonade. Drop some comments if you know Dell's lemonade. Another Rody Faves. I should just do a whole live sometime talking about Rody Faves. You know what I'm saying? Oh, all right, we're gonna take these bad boys off and we're gonna load on another set of them. Paint those up real fast. Um, and then get going on this. All right. <sighs> so we so we're talking about we had what we had. We at the fair saw tons of vendors. I got some inspiration from, from some other awesome crafters. Um, we saw, like I was saying, an up and coming country star. We, oh, so here's the big thing. All right. And drop some comments either now on the replay, whenever, if you know what I'm talking about with this. And oh, my friends, um, thank you so much for hopping on. I see lots of people still coming on. So I just wanted to say, hey, again, Bethany here from Count Your Stitches. Thanks for hopping on. Make sure you say hey when you stop by, um, even if it's just for a minute, say hey. Um, and if you love this, please consider sprinkling this out. All right, please and thank you so, so much. Um, so we played, and I use the term played loosely, but we played something, it was like a charitable thing, called Cow Chip Bingo, okay? Now, the gentleman came over and introduced it to us, and it was to benefit Hasbro Children's Hospital, so automatically, it's a yes, we're going to participate, obviously. Yes, everybody. Yes, everybody. Um, and, <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't even. So, basically, you, well, I don't even know how to explain this. So, they have a field, right? A little, you know, like a, it's not a huge field, but, you know, like a small baseball field size, but it's just a, you know, rectangle field. And you buy a space. They put chalk lines out on the field, like a bingo board, but lots of them. You buy a space or however many spaces you want to buy. And then, my God, they literally, they let a cow loose. They let a cow loose. And wherever that cow decides to do his business, his or her business, um, in whichever square that may be, that is the winner. <laughs> and it's like a, like a 50, well, there's like a certain price level. And then they have this cow chill out in this field for about two hours. And usually the cow will go two to three times. So there are three, winner, three winners. And so we played cow chip bingo yesterday. Now we have not gotten the grand prize call. So I'm assuming we lost. I'm assuming we did not win, which is a super bummer because I'd like to be a cow chip bingo champion, right? Is this not the most disgusting thing you've ever heard of? But so like, so the Washington County Fair is very, very, definitely like hickbilly, hick, hickabilly time. So there's cow chip bingo, um, but we love it. We had a blast. Um, the animals we saw, oh my gosh. So it was like going to the zoo again, right? Except just farm animals. Um, it was so much fun. The, um, the cows were so big. And I know that sounds weird. Like, obviously cows are big, but I don't know. Does anybody else? I just, I just, I don't know. I just get surprised. Okay. I just, and the piggies, they were so cute. The piggies were so, and the piggies were so huge and they weren't even a year old. They were like six months old. Actually, yeah, some of them had just been celebrating a half birthday. A lot of them were born in February. Um, and they were so large. Does anybody have like pig facts for that? Like how big is a pig when, on average, when they're born? Like I just was, I don't know. I, I really would like a teacup pig, except fun fact I learned, and it wasn't so fun because I was a little upset about it, but fun fact was that I learned that teacup pigs don't stay tiny. I thought teacup pigs stayed tiny because that's what I wanted for a pet. Um... And they just get, they get to like regular size. They just start small. And I was really upset about that. Anybody else upset about that? I was upset about that. Oh, yes, mom. The cows were squished together. Some of them were living the life. Like they had a fan right on them. And they, they were like just great, you know, just grazing in their little stalls. But some of the cows, they put 
they squished them and they couldn't even lay down because there was no room for them. Um, I don't know. I'm hoping that like those cows were getting ready to go do something. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and then they had these, the kids, they, the kids could dress up their, well, I'm getting paint on my sleeve here. The kids could dress up their cow, you know, their animal, I should say, of choice. Um, and it was like an, it was an animal costume parade. Oh my gosh. It was so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh. See like a donkey with a pink sparkly hat on with this little girl matching it. Oh my God. It was so cute. But yeah, so if anybody knows more about teacup pigs, let me know because I really wanted a teacup pig because I thought they stayed tiny and I'm learning now that they don't stay tiny and that's just not going to go with my life plan because I wanted a teacup pig because I thought they were tiny. So that's my story and I'm sticking to it. My other thought for a, an animal, not that we're actually going to get an animal because that's just not, we're just not going to get an animal. But my other thought was uh, a miniature horse. There was a commercial. If anybody can remember what the commercial was, drop a comment. Um, but there was a commercial about with a mini horse in it. And that's what gave me the inspiration to want to get a miniature horse. And, you know, Bob's always like, got to get your miniature horse. Very supportive. He's very supportive. Um, but we're not going to get a miniature horse. But it would be cute, wouldn't it? <laughs> um, I'm allergic to most animals, so it's not going to happen. <laughs> All right, we are almost done, everybody. I am just going to do a quick coat on these. I'm not even going to paint the inside backs because there's just not a need for it. Let's get this done so we can get to putting this together. And I want to show you how I'm going to make the stem. Um, and I'm hoping that it works because I was trying to, first of all, I had no idea what to make tonight until about like two hours ago. Um, is that the commercial with the Fleetwood Max on? You know, Julia, that's ringing a bell. It was, this was years ago too. Like, I mean, at least, at least four years ago, I think three or four years ago. Um, right. And somebody sitting on a couch and a miniature horse comes by or something. I think you might be right, Julia. Um, oh, I'm, I'm getting warm tonight. I'm wearing sweatpants. That's why. Cause in the house we have the air conditioning on. My gosh, I was so cold this morning. Cause I, I, um, had a day off today and I was so cold. I had sweatpants, a long sleeve shirt on and slippers and I'm like this in the middle of August oh my gosh um but oh shugs what were they talking about with um no nope, I think I moved on from the miniature horse mom what was I talking about oh I'm thinking of the one where the horse is dancing near the cliff oh 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 Julia okay yes I know what you're talking about I know what you're talking about yes um but what was I going to, oh, Shugs, I lost what I was, I lost what I was talking about with the miniature horse. And were they talking about a miniature horse still? I don't know. But we're not going to actually get a miniature horse. I just, it'd be a nice idea. You know what I'm saying? But again, oh, I know what I was talking about. I didn't know what to make tonight. I didn't know what to make tonight until like two hours ago, if that. Um, <laughs> um, and so I want to show you how I make the stem with this. And I'm hoping that it works I'm hoping that this looks cute. You're going to be able to see the um, wreath form in between the clothespins, but I'm kind of okay with that. I think that will, um, I think that will look cute. The green will go because it's a pumpkin. You know what I'm saying? I've seen a tad bit more just to do my edges, um, but I think it'll work. I think it'll work. What do y'all think? Um, this is a fun one to do with kids, um, a clothespin project you, and you don't even have to make it into anything. You can just put clothespins around wreath forms and then, um, you know, hang things from it. You, cause you can tie string around anything, right? And then just tie the string around the wreath form. Wreaths are so versatile. Um, and the clothespins just make it so much fun. The kids can paint them however they want. Um, so yeah, this is a great, great one for kids. Oh, I really missed a lot of spots painting these. That's okay though. It's going to be rustic. It's pumpkin. It's a fall pumpkin. And I can always go back and touch it later if I need to. All right. We've got these painted. It took us a solid 24 minutes to paint these. I apologize that you just had to like watch me paint for 24 minutes, <laughs> but we chatted, right? We chatted. Oh, oh, I got my new haircut. I forgot to show y'all. I cut 
Oh my gosh, at least if Auntie Kim were here, she could probably do it at least four or five inches off the back. So it's it's a little flat today because I went in the pool. Um and um it it didn't come back the way I thought it would. Um but I cut like four or five inches off the back, so it's super short back here now. So no more braids. I can't do my long braids anymore. I'm sure it'll come back eventually, but um so I like this like angled look. It's my faves. Um let me know what you think. Um Sheer Imagination Salon, always, right? Always and forever. If you're local, that's the place to go, okay? Um, but yeah, so I got my hair cut. Oh, and we did, I was telling y'all last week we were going to do the diet, the three-day diet. And kid you not, thank you very much, Julia, you're sweet. Um, I kid you not, did the diet last week, the three-day diet, 10 pounds gone, five are back, but that's okay. We're not going to focus on that part. <laughs> oh, but it, hey, it's not fun. Um, but it works. So it's just nice to give you a little, little cleanse. And then you just kind of go back to watching being good again. If you're just hopping on, Hey y'all, Bethany from count your stitches. Good to see you. We are making a pumpkin out of clothespins. You heard that right. Everybody, a pumpkin out of clothespins. We've got our little wreath form and we're going to start putting our clothespins on. All right, here we go. So the wreath form has, so Hi, Holly. So with um, the wreath forms, this one's a little deformed. I got it from a yard sale. Um, there are multiple sections here. In a big wreath form, this middle, this one right here, this innermost does not exist. It's just the one, two, three. So what I'm going to do is take the clothespin and put it, we're going to skip this top one and I'm going to put it in the second one. And it's going to kind of wrap itself around these bottom three. Can you see that? So we skipped the top one and the top one's going to be in the back and I put it in that kind of bumps it out a little too, gives it a little bit of dimension. Okay. So I'm just going to put all of these around, um, all 24 of these, cause that's how many we used. Um, oh, let me switch these, put the painted side here. So like I said, this is going to be super rustic, um, kind of like unfinished. We'll do some dry brush real quick. Once we get them all on and then we'll get a stem going and actually let me plug in my glue gun. Hi, Bobby Sosa. He's watching again. Um, all right, here we go. Here we go. Plug in that. So that way we have it. Um, so I'm just putting all these around. So as you can see how it just kind of starts to come around. And like I said, the tip I, I can give you is if you're going to do this with any, um, any size wreath form is skip the top one and put it around the second and third. And it kind of just like locks into place. Um, it fits perfectly. So any size wreath form, it'll do that. Super cool, all right? And this is not gonna be perfect and that's okay. And like I said, you can see in between, doesn't bother me. Um, if you, you know, you really can't get them any closer together because the bottom, you know, the bottoms are, are touching. But you know, if you wanted to try to fill it in with something, um, I don't know. You can, you can, you know, you can come up with all sorts of creative things. Um, oh, we're going to work for me. Are we not going to work for me? What's going on? I need to put another one there. So we're going to have to make ourselves fit everybody. Everybody gets a turn in the pool. Come on. Everybody gets to get in there. All right. Some of them we're going to have to just negotiate it getting in there. All right. We can make that where the stem goes. <laughs> um, all right. So let's just keep getting these on. Like I said, they fit pretty nicely. Um, they go around the two really nicely. Hi, Ginny, how are you? It is great to see you. So I'll show you my progress so far, all right? We're getting there. So this makes it much wider than the actual wreath form, which is nice. Um, what's up, everybody who's just hopping on? We're making a pumpkin out of clothespins and our tiny wreath form from the Dollar Tree. Came up with this on the fly, right? right before dinner tonight. Oh, made delish dinner tonight. We had um, hot dogs on the grill, no buns. We, you know, try, well, we had potato salad though too, so like half low carb. But so we had hot dogs on the grill, which, oh, you can't beat it. You can't beat it. Um, and then my parents' garden is just, um, oh, thanks, Jenny. We're doing so well. Thank you so, so much. And so happy to have you here. So even better now. Um, 
So my parents' garden is like grows like mammoth sized zucchinis and other vegetables. So we had a zucchini from them um, that was monumental in size. Not their biggest though. Mom, what was the biggest one you've had so far this year? Wasn't it? It was like 16 inches, 17 inches. Um, kid you not, like behemoth zucchinis. So I literally just cut the zucchini in quarters, right? So I cut it in half, then cut it each of those in half the long way and scooped out the seeds because they were super big because it was such a big zucchini. And then literally in those quarters, just threw it on the grill. Yes, 17 inches. Yes, it was humongous. Um, then threw that on the grill without cutting it into small pieces, just those quarters, you know, gave it a long time on the inside side and then a short time on the outside side. Um, and then I cut it up once I brought it inside. So good. Didn't even put anything on it. No salt, no pepper, nothing. Just straight up on the grill. So delicious. Um, and with that, I made a potato salad. Red Bliss Potato Salad. All right, we got that one. Hey, we had an extra clothespin. How did that happen? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna fit one more right here. And then we'll have one extra for good luck. Right, everybody? Oh, can I fit it here? Maybe, hold on. Please hold. Yep, hold on. We're gonna fit them both. It's gonna happen. No, it's not. It's not gonna happen. We're just gonna do... Oh, I don't know. Maybe it'll happen. I don't know. Let's see. The clothespins, like, kind of go wacky on me um and like the they like go crisscross it's weird it's weird okay here we go let's get this last one on or maybe nope i think we're gonna have to do i think we can fit them both i fit them both at one point in time so we're gonna fit them again um but yes yeah, so i made potato salad the way my dad does so after you cook the there we go we negotiated her in there we're good Look at this little cute pumpkin so far. I know it's a circle and pumpkins are not a circle, but just go with it, okay? Look how cute that is so far. Isn't that adorbs? All right, so my thought here, so yeah, I made potato salad um, the way my dad does. So you, you cook the potatoes and then you drain them and I put them in a bowl and then you put Italian dressing on them. And not too much like they're soaking in it, but enough that they soak it all up. Um, and that just flavors the potatoes like, ah. Um, and I did this all tonight, so like you can totally do it way ahead of time, but I just did it kind of quick before dinner. So I did that, and then I just stuck them in the fridge to cool while I cooked the hot dogs and the zucchini. Um, then once that was all done, so it was like 20 minutes in the um, inside. Is that Carmen? Hi, Carmen, how are you? Um, then about 20 minutes, they were kind of cool. And then I just did mayo, some mustard, some dill, some salt, pep, um, and a little bit of... Um, Celery salt. Is that a thing? Is celery salt a thing outside of Rhode Island? Can somebody let me know if who's not from Rhode Island? I want to know if celery salt is a thing outside because I have no idea. Um, and then, yeah, and then we just had, oh my God, mix it all together. Delish. So full. And then mom made us some zucchini bread. So we had that for dessert. Um, what, Hall? Okay. I'm gonna unplug my, oh no, we need, might need the heat gun. Oh, let's do some dry brushing. You wanna do some dry brushing? I'm gonna grab a, this, and let's get some brown. Let's, um, let's texturize it. This is nutmeg, so it's a light, um, no other veggie, celery salt and everything. Oh, in the potato salad, I also put egg, boiled egg. I had boiled some eggs prior. Um, nope, no other ve veggies, Ginny, so we literally just, I just cooked this, grilled the zucchini and just had it like that as is. Um, so good. It was so good. Um, so yep, just the zucchini, potato salad, and some hot dogs. I know, not really entirely balanced, but I really just wanted to have like a, a picnic, like a barbecue. And like I said, we didn't have any buns or anything with the hot dogs, but they were so good. I love hot dogs so much, so much. Um, during that three day diet that we do, we can have hot dogs. Um, so that's pretty cool. Yes. Um, yes, Holly, celery salt on everything. Ooh. All right. I'm just throwing some dry brush on this. All right. Actually a little bit more than dry brush. Like just, you know, just to add some, something to it, you know, so it's not just, cause there's a lot of texture in a clothespin. It's so amazing what, what you can do with like everyday items. You never, you would never think like a clothespin 
would have all this beautiful texture that you can dry brush paint on. You know what? It's kind of funny. Oh, celery salt on pizza. What kind of pizza? Just like regular cheese and pep pepperoni kind of pizza? Or I've never thought of that. Um, our favorite pizza is Hamburg pizza. So I wonder how that would taste. Probably pretty good. A oh, little bit too much brown on that one, but that's okay. That's okay. It's rustic. We love rustic. Yeah, I'm not using antique wax tonight, guys. What's wrong with me? I always use antique wax. I'm using brown paint this time. My favorite hot dogs were New Hampshire Provision, but we have them for you. But company went out of business. Oh, no kidding, Ginny. That figures. Um, hi, Casey. How are you? Welcome. Super excited you caught us live. Um, we get the ballpark all beef. I don't know. Is that like good? I don't know. I, I think they're really yummy. Um, let me just show you what I'm doing. So I'm just doing some dry brush um, brown on the clothespins just to give them some texture. We are all the way around now, so we're good to go. And okay, so now what I'm going to do is we had this um, big jumbo craft stick that we used. We had all the clothespins attached to it to help us paint them. Um, so now what I want to do is we're going to use this as part of the stem. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know. Is that a good hot dog? Um, the beef, I used the, the ballpark all beef franks. I don't know. I feel like that's good. That's better for you than what else we could have as an option, right? Hmm, excuse me. Um, let me know if there are better options out there. Voice text. We have not. Oh, gosh, Ginny. I was just going with it. It's totally cool. Um, so, yeah, I think that's a good hot dog brand. I don't really know. I don't, I don't keep up with the the latest in the hot dogs. You know what I'm saying? Although mom gets the soggies um, from the deli. Those are really good, too. They have that snap. Um, that's a totally, that's like a totally different thing, right? I, I don't even know how this works. Okay. Oh, I got that one in there. There's one that was kind of sticking up. Okay. Now we need to pick where we want our stem. So... We're going to wrap our stem with some jute. This is my big jute that I get. Not super big, but the jute core that I get from Wally Mart. Um, so we're going to wrap. Um, snap is a must. Yeah, you know, Ginny, there's a total difference between a, a hot dog and a soggy. Um, and they're both so delish. But I do love that snap of a soggy. Um, I swear to gosh, every time we do this, I start talking about food. I can't even. Um, we have lots of friends hopping on right now. Hey to everybody. I am Bethany from Count Your Stitches. We're making a pumpkin right now. I know it's a circle. We're going to add a stem. Um, just use your imagination. <laughs> we used clothespins and then a tiny wreath form from the Dollar Tree. And I was saying, if you want to do a project with wreath forms and clothespins, or just clothespins in general, it's a better bargain to buy them at Walmart than at the Dollar Tree. I just wanted to let everybody know that from my experience. So we're gonna take this tongue depressor, this large tongue depressor, which is a jumbo craft stick, get these from Walmart. Um, and I'm gonna pick two, two things here to be our stem. Um, let's see, which ones do I want to be our stem? All right, cause they're gonna have to like come together a little, so. Come together right now over me. Oh, I, I gotta sing tonight, guys. I keep forgetting, we always have to sing while we do this, right? So drop, what do you want me to sing? Drop some comments, drop some comments, what, what do you want me to sing? So I don't want the stem to start too low. Um, so, probably like here. And then I don't want it to be, I'm gonna cut this off on like a, on an angle, all right. Come on, there we go. All right, I'm just gonna angle that out a little so it's a little flatter. A little bit more rustic looking, you know, not so, all right. Waste not, want not. We use this to help us paint the clothespins and now we're gonna use it as the stem, okay? So I'm gonna glue this on these two just to give us something to wrap around, okay? All right, it's my hot glue gun. Get this going. And then we're gonna wrap some jute around it. Um, I use those tongue depressors to wrap my ribbon on to store. Oh, Holly, that is genius. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So do you just wrap them around the whole thing and then just stack all the sticks? How do you do this? I need to know more because that is the most genius thing I have ever heard. You have to tell me more. Okay. All right. So there's the stem. I know. I know. Not yet. I know guys, this looks weird. But, all right, now we're gonna take some jute, okay? 
gonna start on the back. I'm gonna glue it on. Actually, I'm not even sure I'm gonna start on the back because I wanna make sure I cover this. So let's just make sure we cover this. Yep, so we're gonna start right here. Put two dabs of glue and start wrapping the jute, all right? I need to know more about this, Holly. I need, I'm like, because I, I have no idea how to store my ribbon. It just, it's, look at this. I have a box full of ribbon and it's like, I have like five of these and it just, yeah. Yes, I put them in a 12 by 12 scrap. I put, oh my gosh, this genius. Holly, Holly, I need you in my life all the time, okay, to help me with so many things in life, but also to help me with my craft organization, okay? All right, so now I am just gonna wrap this around. All right. Choo, 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 choo. Every so often, I'll put another dab of glue. Whoops, we're getting stuck. So the stem is obviously gonna get thinner when it's just the, the tongue depressor thing, but that's totally fine. Um, all right, let's stick another dab of glue back here on the clothespins. We've got a lot of orange happening today. We got the orange, the orange, uh, the orange. Ow! Stuck my finger right in the glue. Um, we've got the clothespin. No, I don't even know what I'm talking about. We've got the glue gun that's orange. We've got the pumpkin that's orange. We've got a lot of orange going on today. All right, I'm doing this nice and tight so I don't have to do like a second. I don't want to have to go around on top of it. And I don't want too much of the orange to show through. So, okay. I'm going to do one more on the clothespins and then we're going to start just wrapping the large tongue depressor. Does Do people even call it a tongue depressor anymore? Um, do people even know what that means? Do we even do the tongue depressor anymore? I don't even know. I don't even know. Somebody tell me, okay? <laughs> um, so I think my project for my next day off is going to be to reorganize my ribbon on these tongue depressors and to stack them. And it's going to be the most beautiful thing in the whole wide world. And I cannot wait. All right, we're on just the tongue depressor now, so it's much easier. I don't even know if this is going to look good, but we're just doing it, right? We're just... this. I came up with it randomly and hoped that it would work. I think we can make it work. Um, I cut the stem on an angle. I'm wondering if I should go a little shorter. Yeah, I think we're gonna get this angle going now. Cause we're, and I'm gonna cut the angle a little bit rounded. There we go. I need to get some sharper scissors. Um, some like fancy shears. All right. I'm just gonna, another dab of hot glue because I'm gonna start going on an angle here. So I want to make sure that it stays. I need to get more of this jute. Um, I used it to cover a plate. I got a charger plate from um, the Dollar Tree and I covered the whole thing in jute, kind of like a Pier One knockoff. Um, and it was really cool, but I used so much jute. Um, all right, I'm gonna start doing like more glue because it's gonna get funky how I'm gluing this on now oh I'm ow 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 um Holly yes I have heard that as well I need to I need to invest I need to invest right you gotta as Bob always tells me you need to spend money to make money right oh I need to show you some of the projects I finished this weekend <gasps> I need to show you okay I need to okay guys I need to I keep sticking my finger in this hot glue. I'm not gonna have a finger left by the end of this, guys. That's just what's gonna happen. This might work, because we're gonna put a big bow on it and it might look cute. I don't know, it might not. We're gonna have to see. But thank you for sticking with me through this to see if it actually works. I'm not confident. Well, I'm not, I'm not confident that it, I'm pretty confident about this. I think it's gonna be cute. See it so far with the stem? Just trying to. We have a we have an angle approaching here that I wanna. I'm just gonna stick hot glue all over the angle, okay? We're just, we're just gonna we're just gonna see how this works, okay? We're just gonna see how this works. Um, I think they're actually Tonic brand, not Tim Holtz. Okay, I will look for that, Holly. Thank you very very much. Um, what was I gonna say? So, if you're just hopping on. Hey, <laughs> thanks for being here. If you want to sprinkle this out on your page, I would totally appreciate that because we want to spread our crafting love to the world. 
that is the goal here at Count Your Stitches because we love what we do and we want other people to be inspired and to have fun and create and love what they do because if you're not having fun and you're not loving what you're doing, then it is totally not worth it. And I am learning that in life, okay? I am learning that. And I love this so much. I love crafting live with you guys. It is a stinking blast. And I just want the world to be able to do this with us, okay? <laughs> Can a girl just want to craft with the world? I'm just sticking this last piece on the very top to cover that top of that tongue depressor. All right, I'm just sticking that down. Oh, this looks cute. Yep, this might work. This might work. We're going to stick a nice big bow on it next. That's going to be our last step. Nice big bowl, bow, not bowl, bow. Um, all right, and then we're just gonna glue this down and be done with it. And then I wanna show you some of the projects we've made this weekend. Such a blast. Oi, okay, oi, listen to me, oi. Who am I? Okay. All right, last piece. Glue down, cut this off. All right. You know me. I never use my I never use my thimbles. You know me. Just like to burn my fingers instead. You know, it's fine. It's fine. I don't have a problem. <laughs> All right, so here's where we're at so far. I'm just going to separate these guys out a little. All right, so we've got our little pumpkin so far, and then we're just going to stick a big bow here, and I'm probably going to later on put a hanger so that it hangs a little crooked. Okay? Just work with me. I think this is kind of a cute interpretation. What do y'all think? What do you think? Can we make this? Is this a pumpkin? Can we do this? Can y'all work with me and make this feel like a pumpkin? I, I think we can work with it. You let me know though. Does it look enough like a pumpkin? All right, let's get some ribbon out. Um, this is gonna be the last time you're gonna see ribbon spools because I'm gonna do Holly's trick. <laughs> I'm gonna try. So I've got some greenery. This is a boxwood pick from um walmart 97 cents for this beautifulness i got two of them i'm so excited about it and i'm just going to use a little piece of it i think so i don't even need to cut it i'm just gonna snip it off it's gonna come right off and i've got my little box of ribbon here all right so let me know can we make this work is this our is this a pumpkin what do you think give me your opinion is it too much of a stretch you think we can make it work i don't know. you let me know all right, so we're definitely going to use buffalo check plaid because it's not fall without it. We're going to use this orange buffalo check. We're going to use, I think we're going to use this cool gold trimmed brown. We're going big, guys, okay? We're going to use some green because I like bringing in the other color, and I think that's enough. Let's not go too crazy. I'm already enough. Okay. So how big do we want our bow? Let's see here. I'm going to do a... Um, uh, just a messy bow, okay? Just a messy bow. Alrighty. One. Oh no, I might need more of this green. I got it last year and she is a running out. So I haven't seen this one at Dollar Tree though. Um, Dollar Tree had some nice ribbon, but man, they sell out fast, huh? All right, yeah, she's almost she's almost out. Darn O'Malley. Well, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. All right, so there's that. So we're going to do some green. And then I like this buffalo check. Now, I realize these are the same size, but that's okay. I'm just going to do two of every um, ribbon, all right? Just two of every ribbon. Just super simple. All right. All righty. I love this buffalo check. I think I was telling y'all last week, I literally got four spools of this from the Dollar Tree. Four spools of this. Yep. Yes, she did. She got four. And then I kind of like to do different sizes, right? So, hi, Linda. Um, so, we've got the... I don't normally stack the same size, but I like both of these. So, I'm going to do that. And then I've got my medium-sized um, with ribbon. I'm just going to quickly trim off this end because I don't want a point. Um, so I'm just going to cut two of these and then I have, so this is the medium sized and then we've got the smaller size. I taped some of these, which was smart of me. 
which was smart of me. All right. I was going to do a smaller buffle. Oh, she is out too. Darn. I loved this one. I need to find it because I have not seen this one at Dollar Tree either. Oh, that's upsetting. I loved this one. Isn't this one pretty? I use, But you know what? I used a lot of it last year, so I am not surprised that she is empty already. All right, so I'm just going to fold her in half. I'm calling everybody her tonight. I don't know what, what's up with that. All right, do we need another color? Tell me, oh, no, we don't. No, we can do, first of all, I want to put some green in it and um, some raffia. Everybody needs raffia in their life. Yes, yes. That's what we think. That's what we think. Okay. I don't want too, too much. I'm literally just going to take a piece and cut it. Fold and cut, fold and cut. All right. Yep, that is plenty. All right. So, oops, hold on. Please hold. Please hold. That is not a song, but I haven't sung tonight, so we need to sing. All right, let's cut a piece of twine, jute, whatever you want to call it, so that we got it going. All right, so can everybody see my bow? I hope you can. So we just crisscross them, okay? So I'm going to do the green. Then I'm going to hit it with some buffalo check. All right, just crissy cross. Crisscross applesauce like the kids at school. Then the smaller one and then the smallest one. Whoops, there we go. Okay. And then let's just cut these so they're ready. I will trim that up. And then we do our best to scrunch. All right, so I'm just gonna stick my jute around. I'm gonna flip it upside down and I'm gonna hope that it naturally scrunches for me. All right, because sometimes it's hard to do it on my own. And actually, it gets a little easier if you scrunch as you are pulling the, the, the uh, jute taut. All right, all right, awesome sauce. So, there we go. She pulled in nicely. Let's just get Get her done. There we go. Oh, look at how cute. Look at how cute that bow is. Oh, love, 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 love. Am I, is she centered? Is she centered? I have a hard time with bows sometimes. Okay, there we go. And we tie her taut. We double knot. We triple knot, you know, just in case. And we cut our ends. I'm going to trim it up just a bit, okay? So... And we can zhuzh, we always judge more, right? Once it's once it's on our project, of course, right? We always do some zhuzhing later. Um, but I just want to trim up just a little bit here. Like this raffia is obviously far too long, um, so we want to get rid of that. Sometimes it stinks trimming up raffia though because it um, kind of makes it look too perfect, which is not what we are going for. But all right, so that's that. That's that. I can actually pull some of these ribbons so they're a little bit better. Okay, here we go. We're gonna stick this bow right on and then, do we need the greenery? Yeah, we do. Oh, that is adorable. Okay, yep, that looks really cute. So we're gonna put the greenery on like right here, just so that it gets like kind of like a leaf of the of the pumpkin. So it's gonna put that right on. Alrighty. Make that go. And then we'll put the bow on and then we will be all set, everybody. All right. I am very excited. So again, thank you so much for hopping on. We're not done yet. Don't worry, we're not done yet. I'm just saying hey as this glue dries. All right, thanks for hopping on everybody. Make sure that you sprinkle this out, this video out. Sprinkle means S-H-A-R-E. If y'all don't know that yet, um we're not, we can't really, we have to say sprinkle. Um, so if you want to sprinkle this out, that'd be super duper appreciated. Um, and make sure that you say, hey, if you're on now, if you're on later, hashtag replay. Love to hear from you then. Um, I'm just going to stick this bow on. All right. 
my friends, I think we have done this. I'm actually just gonna stick, this piece of ribbon is not staying where I want, so I my trick is I do tiny, tiny dab of hot glue, tiniest dab of hot glue, and just stick it up where I want it to stay. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. You don't gotta negotiate with everything. Okay, and now I'm just gonna zhuzh a little more with my bow. You know we love the zhuzhin. The zhuzh de zhuzh. I want some of this green showing. Ow, we got hot glue coming out of everywhere. All right. And final product. Tell me what you honestly think, everybody. We're out on a limb, but I think it's kind of cute. What do you think? I want to hold it crooked when I put a hanger on it. So tell me what you think. How do you, how do you like this? Little different. Definitely not something we've made before. Um, you know, I don't know. Is it a pumpkin? Do we think it's cute? What do you think? I like it. I like it. I think it's adorable. Totally different. Um, you know, but I love this. What do you think? Thank you, Bob. You're so sweet. <laughs> What do y'all think? How'd it come out? So we used, um, if you're just hopping on, um, hey, <laughs> we used um, clothespins and um, clothespins, excuse me, clothespins from Walmart because they're a better deal there. And um, thank you, mom. And a small wreath frame from Dollar Tree and some ribbon. This is all ribbon from Dollar Tree. Some jute um, and a pop, big popsicle stick from Walmart. And then just a little... Um, sprig of greenery from Walmart too. And then we just made ourselves a cute little pumpkin. What do you think? Who knew? So all Walmart and Dollar Tree. Um, so super inexpensive. I mean, five bucks, maybe super inexpensive. So look at that. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, let me know what you think. Say, Hey, if you're in the replay, thanks for hopping on. Um, we will be back. I'm loving this Monday night thing. So we're doing Mondays from now on. Okay. So join us every Monday, well, unless I say otherwise. So just pay attention because every Sunday I post if we're going live or not. But pretty much every Monday <laughs> we'll be here crafting live, okay? Oh, thanks, Holly. I appreciate that. Um, so Monday I'll see you, okay? Come back, 8 o'clock. Next Monday we'll do another fall craft, okay? And hey, spoiler, not spoiler alert, but future planning Mom's coming back in September, all right? I'm gonna do another live craft with mom. So, all right, everybody. Thanks for hopping on. Have, a, have an awesome week. Have an awesome, awesome week. I will see you next Monday. And always remember to count your stitches. Bye, everybody.